Dr. Goodyear here on the first day of the 16th International IPT Conference here in the beautiful and very warm Rio de Bravo. So look forward to some great speakers today from Paul Anderson, um, many others, Donato Garcia, talking about migraines and IPT, how to treat, use of IPT and chronic diseases. So many fantastic speakers, many fantastic topics, great opportunity to learn and plow the pathway forward in healing of integrative medicine. When you look at the phrase IPT, insulin potentiated therapy, it's known by many names. And it's important to understand this. It's known by IPT or insulin potentiated low dose therapy or IPTLD, low dose chemotherapy, metronomic chemotherapy, low dose metronomic chemotherapy, low dose metronomic chemotherapy with insulin potentiation, which is my favorite. I think it, I think it describes it most accurately that is, ultra low dose chemotherapy, you get that ultra low dose and then fractionated chemotherapy. Now, why is this important? Because these names, these titles that are given to it reflect its mechanism of action. And in today's day and time, culture and medicine, there's such a, I think, attempt to malign those that aren't, those items and those therapies that aren't considered mainstream and conventional. Basically using what Dr. Donato Garcia described and defined IPT is. He describes it as a bioregenerative medicine procedure that uses a dose of fast acting insulin as a biological response modifier to induce cell permeability in a controlled manner. And this facilitates the exchange between extra and intracellular fluids. We must get a signal from a therapy into the blood, this is following pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics, and we must then get it from the blood, the plasma, actually across the cell membrane inside the cell to actually induce changes, affect action, here at the beautiful um, state of Mexico in Brian de Bravo. So um, it's a beautiful place. I think it's a great place to collect and, and learn. So that's why I wanted to bring you in to learn with us. Dr. Donato Perez Garcia really put together a power punch of speakers today. It is the exchange of science. So conferences like this, like the 16th International IPT Conference here in Valle de Bravo, it's where colleagues come together, prides left aside, patients are our focus, there's nobody else that we're advocates for, where we share our experiences where we discuss the science behind the mechanisms of our experiences in treating patients, not for the benefit of being an advocate for a government regulatory body or health insurance body or a hospital, but for the patient, because we always have something to learn, because cancer is always evolving, always progressing, and we as physicians in the natural, holistic, and integrative field need to continue to work to build the science, know the science, integrate the science, to help our patients maximize their healing. That's the hope, that healing is always possible. And bringing these international physicians from Malaysia, from Canada, from Kazakhstan, from Mexico, it allows us to recognize that we all bring a different viewpoint, a different thought process to the table and that different perspective, that different thinking, actually provides better perspective on the process of cancer treatment and healing from cancer. It makes us better patients. It makes us better doctors because we focus on what it means to be a physician. So look for exciting new things to come born out of a solid foundation founded right here in Bayou de Bravo. 2023 February, I look forward to seeing what 2024 and beyond will bring with the International IPT Conference. Look for more updates soon. Dr. Goodyear checking out from Bayou de Bravo.